Hey everybody, welcome to the shed. In this episode, I'm going to talk about one of the screwdrivers in this flat that I picked up at an auction um, several months ago. Um, so, uh, this flat, I didn't pay a whole lot for it. I'm sure it was under $10. I can't remember exactly how much. And there was no particular screwdriver in that flat that really uh, made me want to buy it. It was just, you know, they all looked like they were pretty good. However, uh, a couple months ago, uh, I was looking through it again, and I noticed that there was this promotional screwdriver in here. And it was for a uh, Phillips 66 station in Eureka, Kansas. And it is, uh, it is for McKay's 66 service out of Eureka, Kansas. And there was a feature on the screwdriver, on the advertising, that jumped out at me and really piqued my curiosity and I felt like I had to do a little more investigation into it. So I'll get you a close-up of that so you can see if it jumps out at you too. So here's that flat of screwdrivers and here's the promotional screwdriver. So as you can see here we've got the Phillips 66 logo and uh, You can see it says McKay's 66 service and the phone number in Eureka, Kansas. So, yeah, three digit phone number. When I saw that, I thought, well, that doesn't seem right. Is it possible that there actually were three digit phone numbers at one time? Um, so the rest of the screwdriver looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, it doesn't look like any numbers have been scratched off. So I'm going to have to dig into that a little bit further. Okay, so the first thing I did was I started looking into the history of phone numbers. I thought, you know, could a phone number really have been three digits long at one time? And as it turns out, it sure could. Uh, Lowell, Massachusetts was the first city to start using uh, phone numbers at all. And what they had done prior to that was uh, you would call the operator and just ask for the other person by name. And then there was an epidemic that was going around and a doctor who was concerned that the phone system may be unusable if all of the operators were uh, sick and they couldn't train new operators fast enough so they switched over to a numbering system and so I remember mom was a, uh, a switchboard operator I really really wanted uh, a picture of her in her uh, at her switchboard and unfortunately I talked to her and she said no it just doesn't exist uh, cameras weren't everywhere like they are today so I was kind of disappointed in that one I thought that would have been a, a, a really entertaining to pop that picture up um, but anyway back to the phone number so I did a quick search on the internet and that revealed nothing for the Phillips 66 station itself um, but I did start digging around about Eureka, Kansas, and what I found was that uh, Greenwood County has a historical society. So I thought, well, can't hurt. I'll fire off an email to them. And, uh, and so uh, wonderfully, quickly, I got a response back, and I'll read that to you. Uh, Mark. Thank you for contacting the Greenwood County Historical Society with your request. After looking through old phone books in our collection, I have this information to share with you. McKay CR Oil Service is listed in the earliest phone book we have here, 1943, with the phone number on the screwdriver. It is listed through 1969, and the phone number at that time was GI3-6191. McKay's 66 service was first listed in 1956 at the same location. So we've got one end of the possible timeline for this screwdriver here. At uh, 401 North Main with the same phone number as McKay CNR Oil Service 234. 
There were actually two locations for McKay's 66 service, the second one being 220 West River with the phone number 1415. There is no listing for McKay's 66 service in the 1959 phone book. I hope this answers any questions you had. And uh, sign off from the secretary of Greenwood County Historical Society. Well, that was pretty cool. So um, this uh, screwdriver with the three-digit phone number, um, the way I see it was probably um, no older than 1956 since that's uh, the first time the phone number appears in the phone book. Um, and I think with the three-digit phone numbers and the transition to the longer phone numbers, it's probably more towards the 50s than it was the 60s. But it sounds like somewhere between 56 and 69 is a definite uh, window of when this uh, little uh, screwdriver was produced. Um, so I, I found that interesting, and I, I hope you found it interesting also. Um, in the upcoming episodes, I think I'm probably going to do something on uh, rust removal using chelation. So I've got to do a correction for the pronunciation, the mispronunciation of the um, uh, word chelation in my last episode. I said uh, chelation. So. Uh, it's spelled C-H-E-L-A-T-I-O-N, and as it turns out, I think it's more correct to, to say it chelation. So I'm certain that I'm going to buy that uh, great big five-gallon bucket of evapo-rust, and I've got uh, plenty of candidates to go into the bucket. So um, we'll do that, and then I've got some ideas on uh, some 3D printing videos that uh, we'll probably uh, throw those up here pretty soon. So until next time, thanks for watching.